Hey, I'm Curtis White from the Steve Tilford Foundation Racing, and this is... Between the Tape. My goals for the season are to win the USDX overall, uh, to be consistent through the Pro CX domestically here, uh, become national champion, and uh, be at a top 10 World Cup level. It's exciting to be racing with the Steve Tilford Foundation. It's new colors, a new program, new sponsors for me. And we're at the Trek Cup here. It's the Friday C1, so Trek is a new sponsor of the program. And uh, it's really exciting for me to be part of this new program and to learn to communicate with new teammates and mechanics and support staff. Uh, learning new equipment, it's all, it's a really exciting opportunity. So a day like today at Trek Cup, I'm here about three and a half to four hours before the race. I'm eating my pre-race meal, rice and eggs with a little soy sauce. About three hours, 15 before, we get on for course pre-ride, get to relax for a little bit before warming up, about an hour before the start, and then when the whistle blows, it's mayhem. Each cyclocross start is different. Most of the times, it may not be the most important part of the race, but it's a part of the race. You're not gonna win, but you could lose it there. So you wanna cover your basis, make sure you have good technique, you get in to the pedals quickly. With it being group racing for most of the day, I think here, it's, uh, it's gonna be important to really protect your position because there's gonna be a lot of riders that are fast enough to wanna to be a part of that group that are gonna to wanna to move up. So, get in the pedals quick, be near the front, not necessarily on the front, and uh, really protect your position. so fast out there like we've had good racing here in the states the first three weeks but the last three races have been muddy you have to drop the cadence quite a bit to keep traction and it's a little bit more deep-seated power so it was nice to get a really fast race a lot of hard accelerations and following a faster wheel in front that was huge so these Euro guys are training together, they're racing together on a regular basis and they're pushing each other consistently and just that level gets higher and it stays high. So this is the first time we're seeing them this year and I'm happy with how I was able to race with them. So it's a good opener going into the World Cup and uh, I think I'm bringing good form into it. So. Ah. He's got to stay upright in the turn, and he's going to have this one in the bag. So put your hands together. This is Lars Vandar. Second place goes to Don Soda, and then number eight, David Manu. Fantastic race that came down with such a thrilling finish. Congratulations to our winner, Lars Vandar. Spectacular finish. The one attack that finally worked halfway through the final lap. Somewhere, Vanderhaar got rid of his companion. So fast. Yeah. Hey, but you were a part of it. That was a crit race, basically. Yeah. That's what it looked like. It was a crit race with, a, with one off camera section. Yeah. <laughs> that was. Uh, it was fast. Oh, they killed it. It's like motor pacing all day. It's like, yeah. Just had to hold the wheel. 
Now, one time I got to the front because they sat up and I was on the limit. I was like, okay, fine. Now I can make my pace. Right. But then they just came well, back. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I get yeah. It was too early to push it so hard, so you have to let it happen. But it was a time for me to regroup, and then it was just hold the wheel. That's all for this week's episode of Between the Tape. I'm Curtis White, and we'll see you in Fayetteville next week.